Video game guys sell it all the time. So one of the demos we're going to show you is Blender, which is the most popular open source game engine in the world, heavily funded by the European government, uh, particularly uh, uh, the Netherlands, integrated with ROS, the robot operating system, where you'll see a rig developed by an animator in Amsterdam who's never touched our robot. Then right next to it, in the next window, you'll see what that character would look like in a video game, but that video game engine will actually start powering our robot in real time. Hmm. All of a sudden, you've got a half a wow. million game developers <laughs> who can bring content to human robotics to be able to provide these sorts of really great services. Imagine, that's all that animator did. That's what Blender. you would do in a video game. Mm -hmm. It looks nothing like this, right? Then we hired a video game developer to create Arthur the video game character. Mm -hmm. But what you see is this game engine a development environment where you've got millions of folks who know how to do it this way. Okay, mm -hmm. being able to create content that's realistic and believable, right? Because robot guys really are not friendly. You guys seem very friendly, but my robot guys are not particularly friendly. They really feel more comfortable with the Terminator style boss to die. You know, three quarters of my PhDs are, they much prefer things that don't look like this. Dr. Hansen is the only exception, and I think that's because he started off as a sculptor for Disney Imagineering. Hmm. He really, and he's very much self-taught, so he likes throwing stuff together, and he's very eclectic. But even he, you know, again, it's a, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little, it's, uh, sometimes it's not so easy. Uh, yes. Uh, are you talking? Is this robot talking now? If we had a, a strong internet connection, we would be able to do a Google Voice demonstration where you could ask questions, it would answer you, okay. uh, you know, uh, you know, math questions or, you know, what's the sport? It'll, it'll check up internet and it'll also mm -hmm. dig into its own database. If you've seen the Philip K. Dick interviews that we've done, you know, for PBS or Wired, you know, you can see our character engines work. They've been doing that for years. Hmm. Uh, we can use any sort of microphone setup, whether it's an array mic or a single mono mic or, you know, whatever the, whatever the client wants. So this is Blender doing this. Have you ever thought of getting onto Jeopardy with this guy? <laughs> Not Jeopardy, but you gotta program we, it. We do speak with IBM Watson Group uh, pretty pretty regularly, and we have been asked to pitch on Shark Tank three times, which is kind of funny. Uh, let me show you. This is interactive mode. So what you see here is basically this camera. Wow. Okay. Let me uh, close his mouth. I think I caught him by surprise. There you go. Oh, the camera is from the... Um, yes, the camera is now doing basic facial identification, not facial recognition. It's just looking for faces based on pixels and minutia. And then it's trying to figure out who he likes, who doesn't like. And he's, kind of, he's present now. This is a very basic demonstration of kind of sentient artificial intelligence. Huh. It's, just, it's just here. Now, if you can imagine, you add natural language, right, a very focused library of, you know, of, of service content, again, a uh, uh, kung fu instructor, who knows, right? right? And a dialogue or a character engine, so you have color and a backstory behind the robot, right? It'll, it'll be able to do a lot. This is, the, this is the setting where we would actually be asking questions in Google. Does your software engine do something like, uh, if, uh, if you ask him, uh, you know, what's the word? Oh, I'm going to uh, smile at it. Right now? Yeah, it, well, will his face depends on the like, software. Oh, it's cool, you know. Like, it depends. Yes, it depends on the cool, software you, engine. Uh, yeah, like it depends me. on the software engine we use, and it depends on whether or not it is uh, the, the, it. the query is connected Frowned to it. Yeah. Because it's not going to know that unless it's actually uh, doing the search results. Why he tries to imitate you? No, I just wonder if he's responding. Okay. Does he respond? Is, is In he this like mode, he's just looking for faces and trying to figure out whether he likes you. Okay, so if he likes us, then <coughs> he's... Smile. Uh, so I, if we smile, then, I mean, does yeah, he recognize he's just doing face identification. Just this the one's whole not face. set up to do facial recognition. No. Wait, Wait, you're, what does well, the, who's the most good-looking in the room? <laughs> <laughs> in front of his camera. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Right? So I'm getting in the way. Just to give you another sense of, you know, the... the, the See the monitor? Yeah. So what you can... This is basically an interface showing just all of the motors that are packed into this thing. Right? Right? Right. All on sliders, right? So it's very accessible, very easy to use. But the kind of micro-expressions that we think are important, that, again, our GPU picks up, and that are important pieces of data, okay, are things like this. Can you guys see what's going on? Do you see something moving? The mouth? That cheek, the right cheek yeah. squinting. Uh, right? Those uh, subtle gestures 
and we can generate 256 positions with just that part of the face. Hmm. Okay, actually matter. These are. This is more obvious. Okay, but those things actually matter. Hmm. Okay, I mean you can do obvious things like hello, right? Ah. Right. But to be able to have that level of control, right? That's a really smooth. But, you know, science is catching up with that analog. I mean, it's, it's it matters, and people can tell the difference. The yeah. fact that. Our robots are generating and triggering that mimic, the mimicking tendency that people have. It's pretty exciting for us. Can we see what's um, underneath the shirt? Yeah, there's nothing underneath here except a power supply and, and, a, and a USB. But if you want, I can take the head off you if you guys. Yeah. Want. Yeah. Right. Arthur's going naked. Okay, here you go. So this is just a standard static body. It's a, it's a fiberglass torso uh, and mannequin arms. We're, wow. Our next generation are all clear polycarbonate, so they look really cool. So it's, there's just it's, there's nothing guts. It's all guts. I love the talk, by the way, because you know you know a lot of our guys are very DIY, and they'll in Asia it's very easy to you know print your own circuit boards and things like that overnight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. So offices here. Oh, suddenly I'm bald. Yeah, it's, become, it's becoming a uh, I know, really. show here. I know, really. Uh, wow. Wow, look at that thing. Alright guys, you guys want to come around? What's his name? The guy who does the fair robot. The what? The so Crypt Robot. Me, the Crypt Keeper. He should have been here. Uh, Tim is working on some uh, other robots right now. Uh. <laughs> oh, no, no, I do. Really... Here, let me get out of your way. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow, I'm scared. Uh, Unless people rip it. Uh, we've had units on this for 10 years. Still, uh, 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 Sergey, you got to touch that skin. <laughs> yeah, it's really amazing. That's a big competition to my monkey. You know? I know. <laughs> you get an idea. Did, did you touch it? Touch the skin? You better touch it, Sergey. Can we take the front? What do you, you say it was called? Uh, frubber. Frubber. Not flubber. Frubber. 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 If you guys don't touch that skin, you miss the whole lecture. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got to touch it at least once. Sergey refuses to touch it. Kinda crazy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I want to see the front. I want to see the front come out. <laughs> Fascinating. Sergey, wow. you don't like the robot. You can always use this. <laughs> I actually need it myself. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing is, you know, can we take the face? I wish mine was good. Okay, I have one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get out of the way because I'm hogging it all. What do you think, guys? Pretty cool. But this is amazing. Because, um, all of that fundamental work, I mean, this well, is what we, this is where <laughs> Extremely. <laughs> skin soft. I know, it's like like the most perfect Dark skin, skin, right? Cool. Yeah. The party boy, the punk rock. Well, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. 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 the next Wow. Yeah, this is a 28. Yeah, that's a 28. I need more RAM. I mean, my hip bone. Is that based on silicone or? What's the page? Just a rubber. Okay. How many servos? Uh, 32, ser uh, 32 uh, servo motors and uh, four uh, actuators. He's got little flashy lights like data in his head. <laughs> yeah, four, and all four just in the net. Uh, servo motors are controlled by a couple of bullets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then everything's coming off of that i7. Oh, yeah, I I Sorry. No, it's okay. I was taking a picture of you taking a picture of it. <laughs> I want to get a little video. Thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Totally. His name is Arnie.